Have you ever wanted to add B-roll to your Descript file and you just thought that it was just too difficult to do? Well, I'm going to show you how you can easily add video and music to your file. All right. Well, hello and welcome to Edit with Ease. I'm Andrea, and in today's tutorial, you'll learn how to easily add B-roll to your files, okay, and also music. So feel free to follow along with me. Uh, you can pause the video and do the work along with me, uh, but be sure to watch to the end to see how easy this is. All right, and I also have a link to download the script for free in the description, okay? Well, let's go ahead and get started. Before you can um, add any B-roll to your document, you're gonna to have to add some A-roll, right? <laughs> All right, well, I have some sample A-roll that I'm just gonna drop in here, and I'm gonna put my speaker name, Andrea Enhanced, and it is going to transcribe it. I'm going to show the timeline here. Depending on how long your file is, it may take just a moment to transcribe it. This is only probably a little over a paragraph, so it won't take too long, but I will be right back when it's ready. All right, well, I have a sample file that we're going to be working on today. It's about the Detroit Auto Show. I don't know if you know, but um, I live in Michigan and the auto show is a big deal around here. So I just have a little document here that we're going to add some B-roll to. And since it is going to be faceless, I will go ahead and we'll first show you how you can just add some video to this A-roll here. We're just going to highlight everything. I'm going to start here with highlighting at all the way down to auto show. All right, then we're going to go up to media and I'm going to search for a video of Detroit. I think this is a good one. We'll choose this. So you don't have to drag it or anything. All you have to do is highlight the text and then click. And you can see here that everything is underlined blue. It looks like I might have missed this last part. Let me go down here and see. So I am going to highlight cars all the way down to show and go back up here and see if I can get the same picture. It doesn't have to be the same picture, but yeah, it's coming here as, as you could see here, there's two pictures or two video files here. If that's fine, it's the same thing. We're just going to leave it like that. Okay. So this is going to be our entire clip here and I'm just going to go ahead and play it so that you can see what is on it. Here we go. At the Detroit Auto Show, you can see all kinds of cool stuff. You can sit in a car that runs on electricity and learn how it works. Okay, so I'm just going to play little by little and you can just follow along with me on how to do this. So right here, I'm going to say Highlight this part. You can sit in a car that runs in, on electricity and learn how it works. So I'm going to highlight this whole thing, come up to the media, and I'm going to type in Detroit Auto Show, this one here. Okay, and so that's it. It's really that easy. You see this part here, it says Ariel, Michigan, Detroit. It, it's highlighted all the way from the beginning of the text to the end. And actually, I'll use a control and minus sign here so that you can see it. See, it goes all the way to the end. Now for the second one. Now, when I highlighted this part where it said you can sit in your car and see how it works, that whole section got put right in those exact words. You see, you can sit in a car and runs on electricity. So we're just going to play this through just so that you can see it. It's of cool stuff. You can sit in a car that runs on electricity and learn how it works. All right, and you see how that stopped. So now, if you wanted to, you can actually move the start and the, the end of this one, and I will just show you quickly how you can do that. All right, so to move the start point, you just come here. I'll just zoom in on this part here where you can see that little part here, and then we can just move it over and have it start wherever we want it to start. I'm going to go back and have it start in that same spot. And you can do the same thing with the back here. We can have it last longer, okay? Or I'm just going to bring it back because I just wanted that, that one sentence there. And when it sends then, I'm going to pick up something else. So I will find something 
All right, I'm going to choose this one right here. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a sample, right? <laughs> just so that you can see how to do this. All right, so then that whole section is going to go. And then if you look here, this is blue. This is the one I just put on here, but it is going to fill in with the name of the file and the picture a little later. So I'm going to keep it there until it says, and guess what? All right, so I think what we'll do is I will extend this clip until where it says, and guess what? So I'm going to click the selection tool and then click here. And we're going to just move it over, going to kind of eyeball it. If you can see where it says and down here, I stopped it there. And so now the off-roading will continue through the end of this sentence here. All right, so we're going to play that again. Here we go. Then you can go on an adventure in a Jeep or a big Ram truck, like driving through rough terrain. And guess what? Okay, so and guess what? I'm going to put something else there. But there is a little lag here at this point. Works. Then you can, so I don't want this gap here. I want to just start it at, then you can go on an adventure. So going to highlight here, just kind of grab it. All right. All right. I think that that is good. So what I'm going to do now is just go to the last part so I can show you how you can easily add some audio and then fade it in and fade it out. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead to this last sentence and highlight the word so all the way down to show. All right, so let's go up and choose the media. So we're going to go media and sound effects. I typed in car and then we've got some sound effects here. So let's just try a couple of them. Okay. Hmm, fast car drive away. Okay, I like that one. And then race car driving away. Okay, I think I like that one. So like I showed you for the videos, all you have to do is highlight the area that you want and then go ahead and just click. And so it's there. Now, what we need to do then, I think would be a nice little effect would be to make it fade in and then fade out. So I'll show you that really quickly. So what you want to do with the fade in and fade out, just grab this little white dot here and drag it a little bit to how much you want it to fade in and fade out. I'm just going to stop it here and then we'll go over to the end, fade it out. I'm grabbing the white dot. And we'll try and extend the sound out here a little bit. All right. Yeah, we'll just extend those two out. Okay, let's play this and see how it sounds. It's like a car wonderland. So if you love cars, you got to check out the Detroit Auto Show. Okay, that's pretty nice. There was a, a little bit there that I didn't really do, but I just wanted to give you a gist of it. So one more thing that we can do, we can add one last B-roll shot to go with um, the car driving sound at the end. So I am going to, I'm going to highlight this part and we're going to get some media of someone driving away in a car. All right, we're just going to get a picture this time instead of video. Ah, this is a nice one. All right, so remember, just click and then it automatically adds it. Now, take a look here. The picture doesn't quite fit in the frame. So what you'll need to do is click the picture and then click position and fill canvas. All right. So this is separated into two scenes. So we have for the first scene, we have filled the canvas that goes all the way here. And so this one will just fill the canvas again. Position, fill canvas. All right. So now let's go ahead and play it. It's like a car wonderland. So if you love cars, you got to check out the Detroit Auto Show. Pretty nice. Okay, so I hope you found some value out of 
this video. I sure enjoyed making this with you watching me over my shoulder here. So wasn't that easy? That is a great way that you can just add some easy B-roll to the script with some adding some audio and then fading in and fading out. And there's so many other easy tricks that you can do to make a quick video. And I will be bringing some more videos to you. So if you love the content and you would like some more easy tutorials on Descript, please subscribe and hit that bell so that you can be notified when new videos come out. All right, I'll see you in the next video.